So I'm gonna do a quick little review. A trailer we have. It is the Iron Bull Tilt Deck Trailer. So the concept of the trailer is awesome. There's no ramps, just tilts. It's hydraulic, it's not a gravity tilt, so you it's got the hydraulic in there, you just press the button and the thing lifts up. So about two months after we got the trailer, the uh, pin that it pivots on, and this is one of them, this is actually not the original one. So about two months after we got it, I went to lower the trailer and I noticed it was something was weird. So we had didn't want to lower. So we crawled underneath to see what was going on. And we found that one of these pins had popped out of there. So here, I'm going to crawl under there and I'm going to try and show you. So right in there is where this pin goes. Now this trailer is only about a year old. So originally, this pin went in there, the original pin went in there, and it had like a big plate, a bigger plate on this side. It went in there, it stopped, and then it was welded. I don't know if you can see it at all. It was welded to this frame. I can't really see it. It was welded to this frame on this side. And this side was just a pin in there. Well, this pin come vibrating out of there. So they took, we brought it back to the dealer and they took and put this one in there, plunked it in there and they just wired it so it wouldn't fall out. Now, while we were waiting for the pin from Iron Bolt to show up, the other side falls out so now we had this one in there just kind of half-assed and then that one the other side fell out and so we brought it back it said like listen what's up so they finally got these pins here put two of these in there in there and welded them from this side now from the other side so they got two of these pins put them in here can't even get it in there right now so they got two of those and they got a welder to come weld this up they got a welder to come weld that up now worked until now Yesterday, I lifted up the trailer and I noticed it was catching somewhere. So I come under here and I look. There's a picture right here of what I found. Actually, it was just like this. So I looked under here and it was, I saw it was just like that. I grabbed this pin and it just pulled right out of there. Again, for the second, third time that this has happened. So we had that one fell out first. In the other side while we were waiting for this one to get fixed and now this again now someone might say so it was welded you can see that little notch out right here it was welded in from there originally and then once we got it fixed they welded it from this side now one might say well you gotta grease it once in a while there is absolutely nowhere that you can get a grease gun on here. There's no nipple to apply grease and it is very difficult to get in there. You just wouldn't be able to do it. There should be a grease nipple in there so a guy could grease this. Otherwise, it's just, it's just steel on steel going like this. This moving back and forth and weight because it's only welded on this one side the weight of this top deck is always going down like this pushing down 
So, there's no grease nipples here to grease this up. But they got a grease nipple on the toolbox. And they got a grease nipple here for the jack arm thingy. But they don't have a grease nipple, but there's no grease nipple to grease one of the most important parts of this trailer for this. So now we gotta get it fixed again. The only thing holding this top deck on there now is the hydraulic cylinder and the pin on the opposite side. So that's just fantastic. Terrible design, iron bowl. Terrible design. I don't know if they're just having a bad day when they're building this particular trailer or what. But those pins should never ever come out of there. Where's this thing? Can I put it on there? So I don't think I would recommend buying an iron bolt trailer for this exact reason. That they don't put grease nipples on the most important part. The part that is doing the most moving, that's got the most weight on it. That gets the most wear and there is no way to grease it up. And these trailers aren't cheap. So, thanks Iron Bolt, thanks, and for the rest of you, thanks for watching my little rant, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one, don't buy Iron Bolt trailers, they're bullshit.